It's so nice to be here tonight, and Tyler Joe Miller is a fantastic member of our association. Yeah, give it up. So, uh, give it up for the day, like Jaden Holman, right? David James and the Big River Band, yeah? And if you were here a little bit earlier than that, that's like three sets ago, we had uh, Barnside Alchemy. Check those guys out as well. It's been a great day of country music, and we are going to keep going. You probably don't want to hear me talking anymore. So, this guy, right out of the gate, his debut single went straight to number one. Pretty cool, right? Yeah, pillow talking. Awesome. Then he puts out another one. I would be over me too. Makes history going to number one again. I would be so honored to introduce to you my friend, Tyler Joe Miller. Oh, uh, you know, he was concerned that you guys weren't going to like him here in Nanaimo. He's a humanitarian. He's the nicest guy I know. And he's a fighter. I want to hear it. Give it up for Tyler!
Surrey. We're sorry to say that, but this is our first time ever playing an island show. Don't get me wrong, I, I, I love where I come from, but uh, man, we have not played a show for, for our hometown. But we're playing a show for your hometown, this is great. So technically, this is our second show we've ever played. Why are we playing last, you ask? I have no damn clue why. The best for last! The best for last! I don't know about that, but thank you. We'll see you by the end of the set. <laughs> so, again, I am Tyler Joe Miller, and uh, I'm just so thankful that we get to come and actually play live music again. Thank God. We get to come here, we get to drink, we get to play some guitars for you guys, and we get to be around people again. Holy smokes, I never miss people so much. So I think it's probably about time that I, uh, you're probably thinking, why does this guy shut up and play some country music? What's that? Tell you who my band is? 
Oh yeah, he's pretty good looking, isn't he? Yeah. You know what? We're we're gonna introduce my band right now in silence for her. This is Rambaki on guitar. Give him some love. We've never done this before. This is wild. This is Marcus Ramsey on the other guitar. This is Justin Tatro on bass. Mr. Joseph Poolin on drums. He bought that shirt here for what, 25% off? Oh baby, because he was playing here, so thank you Hawaiian shirt man. Is he, is he over there? Oh, there's the guy! And not, last but not least, Brendan Schmidt on keyboard. Further ado, let's play some country music. We're gonna play some songs you might have heard of, some songs you might have even heard on the radio, so that's kind of cool. You might hear some traditional ones, some classics. You might hear some covers. Maybe ones that you've already heard before. Daisy yellow moon coming up to night, shining through the trees. Crickets are singing and the lightning bugs are floating on the breeze. Baby, get away. Turns back by the old summer road. And I'm gonna take you to a special place where nobody knows. Baby, get away. Ooh. Wait a second. You guys played this before already tonight. Shit, oh. We gotta play something else. Long neck eyes coming out there and faces that I have no clue who you are thanks for coming we're gonna get right back into it so I put out my first EP last November there's a six songs four of them are out of radio right now 
thank you. I am actually a painter and a carpenter by trade. So, I work during the week, for now, hopefully. And yesterday I played another show, and I got to work all day, and then go home, shower, get my guitar, and go play a show. And people thought that was wild. And I think it's wild that you guys come to shows like this, you spend your hard-earned money to come support live music, and support country fans and country artists. You guys, you guys keep this music alive, so thank you. This is a song from my EP that is not out at radio. And this one is called, You'd Really Hate Me Now. It's based on a true story. Probably. Yeah. studio and we all got together and we hadn't written before and we all just really thought each other you know we're just really great people great writers producers all that stuff so we got together and we didn't know what the hell we were gonna write and I kind of started talking about some things I was going through and I was kind of in a pos position a spot where I felt like I wasn't really the man that I wanted to be and had a lot of things to work on and uh, so I started talking about, you know, being more vulnerable and, you know, these are kind of the, the demons that I got in my head and uh, things that I'm struggling with. And uh, it was funny because when you start talking about those things, it turns out other people go through that too. And uh, yeah, we're pretty messed up people, aren't we? Yeah. Yeah. That's okay. 
we get to talk about it and we get to you know work through this together and I think country music does a really great job of bringing people together and building community around just being good people and wanting to do better and it's got a great heart that pulses for that and so this song is all about fighting with yourself to become a better person and this song is called fighting one that I put out to radio. Not for the night. God, no, not for the night. We got some more music coming to you guys. Do you guys mind if we kind of bring it down a little bit? Excellent. So, before I was an artist, I was actually a writer. And before I was a writer, I was just a carpenter and a painter. But I've always loved music. It's always been something that I've, I've loved writing, thinking of melodies and lyrics and and I love telling stories, that's why I always love country music. I grew up listening to, I wish I could say all the crazy traditional guys and, and all that, I'm like, you know? I, I grew up in 90s country, which I think was a beautiful era. I grew up on Brad Paisley, Garth Brooks, 
Yeah, okay. Alan Jackson, that sort of thing. And uh, they're so good at telling stories and bringing people into a story. And uh, so we're gonna, I'm going to share a story with you guys. This one is talking about the good and the bad sides of alcohol. There's a lot of really good sides. Those are pretty scary sides too. This one's called I Know Jack. Too many times. 